Here at Borders College in the south of Scotland, on the site of our sustainable construction training facility at our Hoyt campus, we have built an extension we call the Eco Room. This fantastic mini home has been built using a fabric first approach to showcase the possibilities to improve the energy efficiency in our built environment. The techniques embedded in the Eco Room are not only applicable to new builds, but also to the existing housing stock which accounts for almost 80% of the buildings in the UK. The Eco Room was designed by Stuart Davidson Architecture using passive house principles and built by Ogilvy Construction Limited. Designed and built to have a minimum energy consumption, the Eco Room has exceptional levels of insulation, sustainable material choices throughout and a living green roof. Every stage of the build process was recorded with 360 degree cameras and this has been used to develop a virtual reality walkthrough, a rich learning and teaching resource that enables our students to experience the on-site build and look beneath the surface at the build process. By training our students in these technologies and by using our showcase build to upskill and train the local workforce, we can help the construction industry to meet our carbon reduction targets. With modern methods of construction and passive house principles, it's possible to build homes with very little heat demand and when supported by renewable sources of energy, carbon emissions can be zero by using heat pumps. We have called this our fabric first approach to sustainable construction. The fabric first approach can be broken down into a number of simpler elements. The insulated building envelope, the low air permeability or airtight construction and the whole house ventilation with heat recovery. The first of these is insulation. This is fundamental to all properties to minimise heat loss and the corresponding reduction in the demand for heating or cooling in the summer, especially with increasing summer temperatures. Heat loss to the ground is often overlooked and is a key area for heat loss. In the eco room, the foundation is a highly insulated raft design with up to 300 millimetres of insulation below the floor slab. The insulation wraps around the floor slab and connects with the insulation material in the walls to prevent cold bridging where the walls meet the floor. The majority of heat loss from buildings is through the walls and the roof and many insulation materials are available and all have different properties such as thermal performance, density and sustainability of the material. It's raw materials processing costs, transportation and the durability the ability to be recycled and the whole life cycle cost of that material. On balance, we chose a highly sustainable insulation choice, wood fibre. This material is derived from low grade timber from the forestry industry, upcycled into a high performance insulation product. The material is not only very good for insulating properties, but has a high thermal mass. This gives the material very desirable properties with the ability to retain heat and slowly dissipate that heat energy over a longer time to provide a more stable environment with less fluctuation in temperature throughout the day. The structural elements of the eco room are timber frame infilled with wood fibre insulation and clad externally with larch cladding which is highly durable. The heat loss from windows and doors is minimised by installation of high performance triple glazed units. Insulation alone is not sufficient to prevent all the heat loss, especially with low energy, highly insulated houses. The proportion of heat loss through uncontrolled ventilation increases and can be up to 50% of the overall heat loss. To combat this uncontrolled ventilation heat loss or drafts, the building was designed to have a very low air permeability. This was achieved by using a special membrane as an airtight layer within the wall structure. This layer must be continuous across the whole envelope of the building with no gaps or interruptions. This element of the build can cause the most problems and requires the installers on the site pay particular attention to the workmanship associated with this element of the build. All the joints in the membrane are taped with a special airtight tape with a highly technical adhesive that has been lifetime tested and will seal the joints for the lifetime of the building. This is no ordinary duct tape. The air permeability is tested during the build process 
and at the end of the build for the purposes of building control to ensure that the actual build meets the design parameters of the build. The reason for the intermediate test is to ensure that there are no leaks or problems with the airtight layer as it's easier to rectify any defects before the finishing and decoration has been carried out. To run the test, we use a calibrated fan that is placed into the external door and a pressure test of the whole building is carried out to measure the air permeability. On a standard build, this should be less than five cubic meters of air per hour per meter squared of surface area at 50 pascals of pressure. On a high performance build or passive type house, such as the eco room, the air permeability should be less than one. On this build, the contractors were very careful as this was their first airtight build that they had worked on and were rewarded with a test result that exceeded the design air permeability. The final element of the fabric first approach when building with low air permeability is to ventilate right. The mantra is build tight, ventilate right. Many problems are found in existing homes in Scotland with poor ventilation, particularly in the winter months. People tend to close the trickle vents on the windows, seal drafts and close air vents. This in combination with poor insulation and cold bridging can lead to mould growth, mould spores, high humidity, all of which are detrimental to human respiratory health. These problems are eliminated by a well-designed whole house ventilation system. Addition of a heat recovery element make it very efficient too. Mechanical ventilation heat recovery systems provide continuous extraction from kitchens and bathrooms and supply constant fresh air to all habitable rooms, bedrooms and living areas. This leads to healthy levels of humidity and excellent indoor air quality that can be measured by monitoring the levels of CO2 in the air. The heat recovery unit ensures that ventilation is maintained but the associated heat loss is recovered and retained within the envelope of the building, reducing the heat loss and consequent energy demand of the property. The fabric first approach results in homes with very low energy demand, as little as 10% of that of a standard home. This results in extremely low energy bills and can eliminate fuel poverty, but also helps us to meet our commitments to reduce the energy demand and reliance on fossil fuels to power our heating systems. The levels of human comfort in these low energy homes is second to none, with comfortable temperatures and excellent indoor air quality all year round. The fabric first approach is the way forward for new builds in Scotland, and the same approach can be used to retrofit existing housing stock and to tackle the energy use and heat demand for all of our homes. Here at Borders College, we have developed a range of short courses covering all aspects of sustainable construction. And our showcase Eco Room gives our students a real life example of the technologies in action. Once the heat demand of the property has been reduced by adaption of the fabric first approach, the remaining heat demand can be easily met by using a low carbon heating system, such as a heat pump. The sustainable construction hub has state of the art training facilities for students and the local supply chain to gain accredited qualifications for the design, installation and maintenance of heat pumps, solar thermal systems and other renewable technologies. Using our eco room at Borders College, we will educate, upskill and train the next generation of construction workers to build the zero carbon buildings that will help us to tackle climate change. <laughs>